hey guys in this video i'm going to be showing you how to create a dreamia store how to sell on dreamia now this is going to be a very very quick video because selling on dreamia is actually very easy in the next video i'm going to be bringing after this i'm going to be showing you how to create a product how to upload a product how to do all those other stuff that as a seller you need to know so this is just going to be a very quick video showing you how to actually sell on jumia or how to create your store all right so let's just get started so the very first thing you want to do is type in the website now the website is sellercenter.jumia.com.ng it's going to be on the screen in case if you can't see what i'm typing and it's also going to be in the description link below so you can definitely check it out there so after clicking on the website or after going to the website you want to click on register to sell on jumia so basically as a seller you need to click on that in order to sell on jumia now after doing that you want to go to sell on jumia you want to click on sell on jumia now you can pause the video just to read these parts but after you're done with that just click on sell on jumia now as for the next step it's asking for you to add your seller information now you're just going to put in your first name and your last name your phone number and your shop name now as for this shop name it doesn't necessarily have to be what you actually sell on your physical store so if you sell if you have a physical shop and it's named a particular thing you don't necessarily have to put that as your shop name now your shop name is basically you telling jumia this is what i want customers to see when they are buying from me i want them to know that this is my shop name so you can put that you can put whatever you want in your shop name it doesn't actually matter you can even put your name in your shop name but i would advise you go for something much more catchy or much more unique so that the customer can re remember you but if your name does it fine you can put your name in your shop name now your your shop name is actually going to be what you're going to be known for on jumia and not your original name now your original name is just what jumia is going to use to identify you when they have to contact you for any reason or something like that so that's what you put in your shop name now the next thing you put in there is your date of birth and also after that you put in referred by now that referred by is not even important i'm going to circle all the important parts you need to fill in in this in this particular section before we go on to the next part now as you can see guys i have filled out all my parts or all the parts that are required for me to fill and i hope you've done the same too and now one quick thing before we go forward if you actually don't see the question where it says do you already have a shop or several shops on jumia now you can leave that blank you can just leave that as it is you don't really necessarily have to do anything about that now if you already have a shop now you can put you can choose to put yes and then just below they are asking you how many shops that you have on jumia so if you don't have if you've never created a store on jumia before you can just leave it blank or even if you have a store on jumia you can still leave it blank it doesn't really matter it doesn't really do anything to the sign up process actually so you can choose to leave that blank or not so anyways let's just go on to the next step now just like the last step in this step i'm just going to circle all the parts that you're going to need to fill in and then you know you can go ahead and fill in but i'm just going to quickly brush over them so your address is going to be your house address you can leave the different products available blank now if you want to fill in that part that part is basically it's just asking you for what kind of products would you like to sell so you can choose to put that in or you can just leave it there so it doesn't really matter so you put your address you put your city basically the town where you live i live in lagos so that's, that's what i'm going to put in and then your store name and your country so i'm just going to quickly fill in mine and we go on to the next step all right guys so i'm done with mine now if you're done with yours just click on continue just click on continue to go to the next step now on the next step it's going to it's asking you for your bank details so basically this should be straightforward but i'm also going to circle just like the last part i'm also going to circle all the parts that are very important that you need to fill in now um quick tip like i said all the parts that are very important are always in bold written in bold so that's how you know what you actually need to fill in now before we continue 
the bvn is actually not highlighted it's naturally not in bold but it's very important that you put in your bvn because if you don't put in your bvn it's actually going to trouble you much later when you actually want to get paid so it's better you just put in your bvn right now and get it over with okay so that's it guys that's that's actually it for you to actually sell on jumia now um these parts that are here that are circled right now they are actually all the parts that we've just filled they're actually all the sections that we've just filled now if i should click on one it will actually populate all the information that i've put in before so you can basically just recheck all these informations and make sure that you've put in the right information before you actually go ahead and click on the start selling button basically so once you've confirmed that all these are correct and you've put in the right information just click on start selling and then you will get this you will get this message sign up completed thanks for signing up with us and all that stuff now they're going to they're basically telling you to check your email in order to verify your account now before you continue or before you're able to sell you need to verify your email or you need to verify your store basically so all you want to do is quickly go over to your email and in this case as you can see i've gone over to my email now as you can see it's actually not in my primary section this is my main section this is my main email section instead where they put it was in the promotion so you also want to check the promotions in case if you didn't get the email in your primary section now your primary section is just basically the main part of your email right where most of the messages come in but the promotion section you see they have three sections at the top here the social section is for your social media that's where you get your emails on your social media and whatnot right and then promotions is basically like um for adverts it's basically for adverts companies that want to promote themselves or stuff like that in your email box so google basically just arranges all this and categorizes them so that your email flow is very very simple and clean so in case if you don't find it in your primary section this is why i'm putting this pattern here is so that you will know that in case if you don't find it in your primary section you should go to your promotion section or you can also go to your spam it might also be in spam but being that it's jumia and it's a reputable band it's most likely not going to be in spam but just in case you don't find it you can check it out there and as you can see we already have the email here and I just open it so you want to scroll down and go to this part where they said click on the link to confirm your registration so all you want to do is click on the link now after you've clicked on the link you just come over to put in the email and the password that you actually chose to put in when you were registering at the first place as you can see my email has already been verified or my account in this case has already been verified so it really really helps a lot so you put in that and then you know you should be able to log in now and then have access to your store all right guys so as you can see my store has been created and if you followed all the process you should actually arrive in this results that i also get in this similar results now as you can see in the top right corner that is where my store is or that is where my shop is in the next video i'm going to be taking you guys through how to actually go about selling on the platform so how to add a product how to basically i'm just going to be showing you guys how to navigate to the store you know what you need to know as a seller before you actually start selling so it's going to be a very in-depth video so you definitely want to stay tuned for that so click on the subscribe button and also click on the notification bell right next to it so when i bring out that video you will definitely be the first to be notified now that video is going to be coming out real soon so just stay tuned for that but depending on when you're watching this it may be out already and this is going to be part of a playlist so you want to definitely click on the next video so that you'll be able to get started on adding your products to jumia Please give me a like if you actually like this video because that helps the algorithm suggest these videos to more people. And also in the comment section, if you have any question, please leave it below. And I'll be checking that out to see your questions and answering them. Or if you have any other general question, you can also still leave that in the comment section below. And if you found this video helpful, please leave it also in the comment section by telling me this video was helpful because that way I would know I'm on the right track to serving you guys better. And that's it for this video, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.